Hard limiting is an awesome technique used in Adobe Edition to help boost the signal, but not make it go over to where it clips or, or you know, sounds really harsh. So it's really, really easy to apply. So the first rules is, is to look on these right side, this numbers. So this is a track that I just did a noise gate to. And, you know, now, you know, after we've cleaned it up a little bit, we want to boost it. We want to get the sound to the highest level. And so right now, the highest peaks, if you look on the right, is, is sitting around, you know, between negative 15 and negative 18. Now, that's too low. If you, if you were to release an audio file at, at that amount, a decibel level, even if you had it, the volume turned all the way up, you know, it'd be virtually inaudible. It'd be so low, and we don't want that. We want the we want people to have the option of of having it really, really loud, or in, be able to keep their volume kind of kind of middle ground when they listen to things. So, what we do to boost this? So, it's easy. You just go to Effects, Amplitude and Compression, Hard Limiter. Now, how do you decide the amount of input boost to give it? So, you know, if you see this for the first time, you're going to see the settings like this. So if you look into the right hand side, like I mentioned, between negative 15 and negative 18 is where this current boost signals is hitting. Now, if you're in the track editing process, in the track editing portion of things, you're going to not, you're going to not want to go over negative three decibels. Um, that's because we want to leave room. We want to leave three decibels of, of space within the audio signal so that when we're in the final track editing, after you've already mixed everything, then we'll go up to negative one. So if you're already done with mixing all the tracks, you have the full file, audio file mixed with all the voices all in one audio file, that's when you'll want to boost to the negative one. But since we're in the track editing process, we only want to go to negative three. So it's a, it's a simple mathematic equation. Um, so we're looking at negative 15 here, minus 3. And so we'll probably go around 12. So we're going to want to boost this. And the input boost, we just put 12. And since we don't want it to go past that negative 3, right here is where we put the negative 3. And we'll apply this to the whole track. Only takes a couple of seconds. And boom, see, now everything is boosted. Everything, you know, is sounds really good to me. And uh, ready to go. So still leaving all this room up here. So anything that gets past, past this uh, zero point, that's when you'll start seeing this red red light light up and that means it's clipping that means it's cutting off signal because it's going past a peak so you never want that to happen so i'll show you just in case you're in the in the in the multi-track uh, portion of editing and you're ready to do a hard limit on a final file so if this was a final audio file mixed together with all the voices you have or if you just have one and you've already done all the editing techniques in the uh, advanced podcast editing and you're in the final uh, ready to create your file um, this is kind of where it'll look like, right? So the same thing applies. You'd go to uh, effects, amplitude and compression, hard limiter, and then you'd look here again. You see a negative four, and we want to get to negative one. So you do kind of a little mathematical equation, and you kind of say, um, maybe I'll go about, you know what, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with the full four. So then I'll take that four, in the input boost, and then max it at negative one. And then that's it. And then you have a full file ready to go. And it's ready to go. So that's it on hard limiting. It's a really easy process, and you know you just don't always you always don't want to overdo it. You want to, you don't want to cut off too many of these signals, these little strays uh, out of the bulk you see up here, like this one here and this one here. You know you, you want to leave a little bit of of that room. Um, if you you know if you take away too much, it, it it starts sounding a little off. So just be mindful of that, and uh, you know. This is kind of what your file should look like after the uh, 
up to the multi-track mix down and, and you do the final hard limit, uh, this is what it should look like.